this time? Everything's dying now. All the great civilizations have gone. This isn't just night. All the stars have burned up and faded away. Into nothing. Hello? 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 Oh, going that far back, am I? It's like an episode of This Is Your Life. This Is Your Life? Oh, you're... you're not, are you? Unfortunately, you are me and I am you. Real emphasis on the word unfortunately. How far ahead are you? Well, actually, don't say anything. Don't want any spoilers. Spoilers? Have you not been paying attention to your surroundings? Doesn't matter how far ahead I am, that question is just meaningless. Nothing is meaningless. Not even now. Concepts that were concepts that I believe can be again. All worth believing in. I wish I could share your optimism. It's within you somewhere. The fact that I appear to have a possible future gives me hope. You have no idea. I've heard so, so many of us say the same. Oh, how the optimists have fallen. How many of us have you met? I lost count after about a hundred. That many, huh? A hundred silly old doctors. One hundred self-destructive, overly optimistic, egomaniacs. All that self-hatred. Are you doing okay? I've had a long day, as it happens. I've had to repeatedly ask our other selves to follow instructions. Please do, by the way. And that is the tip of the iceberg when it comes to my day. Want to talk about it? Well, I remember you being great at talking about mental health. Up there with our third incarnation. I can't. When you are ready to talk, come and find me. Hopefully I won't have to. It's you. Oh, quite right, it's me. I wasn't expecting to see you a part of all of this. Wasn't my choice, believe me. What brings you to my doorstep? After all, you actually know what you're doing, which is actually quite the surprise. Just thought I'd pop by and say hello. Well, you've already said hello. Anything else? What job did the architect give you exactly? They essentially gave me the job of ensuring that everyone is on their way and doing the right thing. A safeguard, as it were. Read the instructions being sent out and all that. You know the gist. Oh, so you're a babysitter. Ah, that's adorable. No, not fitting whatsoever, considering you, well, you hate every other version of yourself, but adorable, nonetheless. Don't you dare patronise me. Oh, come on, they're not all bad. Found any you like? Apart from me, naturally. I don't like you. Ouch, I thought I was the only one who hated myself. You are lying. No, haven't met any that I get along with yet, but surprisingly, I am looking. A bit out of character for you. Maybe today it's a chance for me to be out of character, by being in character. By accepting my role and being the Doctor, for a bit at least. My dear chap, have you hit your head? Are you okay? I'm fine. Look, I'm sure you have work to do, so please, stop pestering me. Uh, alas, you're not wrong. What is worth, Doctor, it was good seeing you. I'll be sure to see you at the finishing line. I hope. And here you have it, folks. The scene you've all been waiting for. Techno and Groovy meet again! Why have we actually met yet? Meh, timelines. I don't understand why I've been sent in your direction. 
You're following the instructions. You're surprisingly on the right path. Well, what was Rory gonna do? Leave me out of this? No chance. We're co-writing this finale after all. He'd never hear the end of it. Sometimes I don't understand a word you say. You just talk and talk and never take a moment to shut up. Okay, one. I absolutely do take a moment to shut up. I couldn't go drinking otherwise. Also, talk and talk is a description of pretty much all of us, so I feel a little personally attacked there. Talking is fun. Distracts me from the depressive thoughts that come with a saga like this one. I understand. I've had nothing but talk to my other selves all day. It's only when I get a moment to talk to myself that I find time to hold myself together. Eh, it's a tiring old life. You may find yourself regretting the latter half of what you just said, but you're right. No wonder you're so intent on changing life up a bit. Hopefully a lot of we get out of this mess. Emphasis on the word if. You'll have a long way to go. Just look at how today alone has been for you. From playing nights with one of my other selves to meeting thousands. You know a lot. Am I destined to remember all of this? <laughs> I couldn't possibly say. <laughs> oh, I hope not. There's some really weird stuff that's going to happen. I don't like that answer. Did I ask you to like it? Trust me, better off not knowing. Knowing things is an absolute mess. Trust me on that one. Anyway, I've held you here for long enough. You're not wrong. There's another doctor straying from the path. Goodbye. And good luck. Watching from afar. You almost scared me there for a second. Who are you? I'm you. From your future. At least, from what was the future. Though I suppose, was isn't the right word anymore. Ha, huh. I see. Look at all that entropy. That's strange. Do you feel that? Huh. Rain. I hate rain. I know you do. I'm a fan of rain myself. Especially the smell of petrichor. Petrichor? Why does that word trigger so much sorrow? Don't overthink it. Perhaps I took things like rain for granted. Is rain a thing? Doesn't matter what it is. But I agree with the sentiment. I'm surprised it can rain at all. It can't and it can. And it won't and it will. And it never has. And it always has. Everything has a paradoxical logic attached to it now, doesn't it? That's just it. Everything always has and hasn't. And always will. And never will. Everything is a paradox in itself. Even us. The very foundations. The very atoms that hold reality together in a state of flux. Everything from time and space to matter to... Death and life. Yeah. Yeah. Fancy waistcoats. I appreciate the compliment. Dress sense has always been questionable when it comes to our other faces. I tend to just wear what makes me happy. And <laughs> what makes you happy? Happy? <laughs> Another paradoxical concept, thanks to this war. As are concepts such as optimism and a bright future. We're all gone now. Happiness was and always will be complicated. But sometimes the simplest concepts can make one happy. I love going on adventures to Topher. And while well, they're not here right now, I'm optimistic that one day we'll be in each other's company once again, finding our truth in the stars. The happiness I'm looking for is impossible. I know it is. Nothing's impossible. Improbable, maybe. You sound so certain we'll get out of this mess. But I know you. I remember being you. Don't bring up memory. Sorry. I'm constantly forgetting things. Forgetting who I am. In reality, I'm so unsure on everything. Honestly, I'm putting on this act and truth be told, it's the only thing getting me through this war. I know nothing else. All I'm going to ask of you now is that you read the instructions left for you in your TARDIS. I'm sorry that I have to go now. I can't, I can't spoil anything. 
but I wish you the best of luck in discovering yourself. I may not like any of our other faces, but I just hope that you make it out okay. Thank you. Go away! I wish I could. What do you want? To not be here. But here I am. Out of obligation. Is that it? You're just here because you are? Well, I'm not anywhere else, am I? I'm here to give you some instructions. Not interested. I guess you'd rather be out there, fighting in a pointless war then. It couldn't be any less pointless than this interaction. Out of every incarnation, you are the one I wanted to stay away from the most. You as your bluey and your angst. Angst? You're one to talk. Also, don't bring Bluey into this. <laughs> I'm done with you. Follow the instructions and leave me alone. No, I'm happily. Just let it go. Screw you. Enjoy reading the instructions. I'm hanging up now. Not if I hang up first. Come on, come on! <sighs> oh. There you are. Hello again, Doctor. Hate to see you like this, but we'll fix you right up, will we? What happened to you? What caused you to to look like this? No matter. I can fix you. I have to fix you. But how? I've never really done necromancy before, so sorry if you come back as a zombie, or a vampire, or a zombie vampire. Now's not the time for jokes, Doctor. Not right now. Where the hell have you been? How did you even find this place? How many bodies are here? 14,796,466 doctors. All of them died here. And why are you here? What do you think? I came for him. Oh. He's your opposite self, yeah? Yep. Ah. And what are you doing with his corpse? What do you think? I'm trying to raise the dead. Unethical beyond belief. That many doctors died here. Really? Why would I lie? Don't be patronising with me. You're not capable of doing so. Besides, I might just strand you here. I... I think... We got off to a bad start. Honestly, I've had worse. How many other selves have you met? I've lost count. I'd imagine so. Well, it's obvious you're busy, so I'll leave you to your unethical plots and plans. Hopefully you won't need them. I hope so as well. Was there any particular reason you found me, or...? Oh yeah. Instructions have been sent to your ship. Read and follow them when you get the chance. Is that all? Yes. That's all. Can you promise me something? Hmm? Promise me. If we do this. If I follow your instructions like you ask. That everyone will be saved. Including the ones we lost. Mm. Promise. Oh, uh, before you go, I... Have to mention, liking what you've done with the TARDIS exterior, the coloured glass is really a nice touch. I don't compliment one of my other selves often, 
and don't tell a soul that I said this, but loving the suspenders. Your secret safe with me. Loving your waistcoat as well. That waistcoat is a work of art. I was actually kind of inspired by your incredibly yellow outfit for my waistcoat. Not the one I'm wearing now. This one here. Glad to see my influence lives beyond me. Not much, I will say. I really don't want to be like you. Don't take that personally. It's hard not to take that personally. It's not you, it's me. I don't want to be like any of our other selves. Ah. I see. You will do. One day. You're not the first one of us that I've met with my face. Often a reminder of my own imperfections. Your face? I think you'll find that this is my face. Wait, wait, wait a moment. A moment has passed. I have some very important information to give you. Is it about the instructions? Yes. Oh. Oh, you're not, are you? I appear to be you. Somehow, despite the future not existing anymore, you've stumbled upon your future self. Me. I stumbled across you. I think you'll find that you stumbled across me. But why? I'm on a set path. One set for me by the architect. I know. Perhaps they want you to reflect. Or perhaps the architect is messing with us. There is no us. We are one. Just at different points. I know that. God, I hate you. You're not the only one. I hate you. We are literally the same person. Yes, and that doesn't change my hatred for you. You know that more than anyone. Yes, yes I do. Although, here's a theory for me. I suppose that now these different points don't exist. It's one and the same point. We exist as one and the same doctor, but also as separate entities. I'm not a past version of you, and you're not a future version of me. Neither of us are present versions of ourselves. We just exist. God, this gets more and more confusing the more I think about it. Now you're just handing me excuses to hate me more. It's less hate, more pity. Self-pity incarnate. I don't need to be psychoanalyzed. Not today. You don't hate your other selves. You just can't face them. Don't want to fall into the same traps as them. So desperate to be different from them. Escape them. And yet, every time you face them, deep down, you want to be like them. Why are you talking to me like this? Surely you have the same mission statement. Which is why I'm going to tell you that you're right to be how you are. I mean, what else would I say? I'm the only one who can possibly understand the nuance of our specific situation. But I am biased. I am indeed. Must be moving on though. Talking to yourself is the first sign of insanity. Then we must be truly mad. Don't I know it? You do. It's you! Sorry, in a bit of a pickle at the moment. I know you're here for a reason, but I can't remember what. What's going on? Hmm? Oh, it's, it's nothing. Then what's the rush? Well, if you must know, I was in the middle of cooking a tuna madras. One of Earth's finest delicacies, apparently. To be honest, I don't even know why I decided to cook it. I don't even like tuna. Doesn't matter. Anyway, it came to life for a brief moment, time war and all that, but... I think I've got everything under control. For the love of God, all of reality is at war with itself, and you're making yourself a well-prepared meal. Do you not understand the mavity of the situation? Mavity? Really? Old habits. Where did you find the tuna? In fact, where did you find any of the ingredients? I know a guy. You'll know them eventually. This war has changed them somewhat, but they're still an old friend. Enough. We need to talk. Well, I know myself, and I know I do love a good talk. I haven't talked to anyone in a while. Other than that old friend. What's that in your hand? Oh! This! Ah, a harmonica. Always been meaning to learn to play one of those. You will eventually. I suppose I will. Stop that! 
So, are you directly after me? Ooh, good question. Time Ward sort of made everything a bit foggy in the memory. Uh, all I know is that I'm close enough to you that I remember you. I understand everything that you've gone through. I understand your mission statement, your losses, how you view yourself, and what it's like to, to be you. I'm still really trying to figure out what it is to be me. This me. You're still a very present memory, though. If you truly understand my mission statement, you wouldn't for one second claim to understand what I've been through and what I'm yet to go through. Only I can feel the way that I do. Only I can understand the pain that burdens me. Not you, nor any of my other lives can take that from me, can claim to understand. From the expression on your face, I take it you understand. Answer me this. My good memory, or a bad one? A persistent one. A painful one. Doesn't give me much hope. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. For all you've been through, and all you're about to go through. Stop patronising me. Stop apologising to me. Look, I... Okay, I'm, I didn't mean to come across that way. I apologise. What did I just say? I'm... <sighs> Never mind. Moving on... Why have you contacted me? Not that I've not enjoyed this conversation, as I said, just kind of cooking at the moment. Ugh. You should have instructions to follow. Read your emails and just follow them. Can do. Should be interesting. If I remember my password. Well, hopefully that means we can get things back to normal. And I really am sorry. Even if you don't want to hear it. Leave me alone, and for God's sake, stop apologising. You look like Rupert the Bear. Who starts a conversation like that? I just got through to you. I'm just stating facts. I don't know whether to take that as a compliment or be insulted. And I thought Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat was tasteless. I actually liked that Technicolor Dreamcoat. Of course you do. You look like someone dragged you through the sewers of Tursurus. There is a war on. Don't go lecturing me on looks. Does my hairline really get that bad? It happens with age. It started with you, actually. By the end of your timeline, you're bald. But... but timelines? No, surely not, no. Really? Oh no, you get used to it eventually. You're messing with me, aren't you? Are you... you really are messing with me. Could be. Could not be. I just don't care. And just like that, I already find you insufferable. I wouldn't have it any other way. You wouldn't have come to any other conclusion. Oh, you know me so well. Perhaps because I am you? Was I really that stupid? No, but I will be. Ha ha ha. Oh wow, you're such a funny guy. Something tells me you already know why I'm here. Unless you're incapable of reading basic instructions, that is. Actually, I get the feeling I may need to spill it out for you. Oh, I've read them. Then you are stupider than I thought you were. You're heading in the wrong direction. Look, it's more than likely that we won't be able to fix this, and I'm fine with that. I may even be granted a decent death, despite those being in short supply. And there was me thinking the frosty one was bad. You're my new least favourite. Do you even have a favourite? I swear you just hate all of us. I can't say I'm a fan of you. I didn't think you would be. Just follow the instructions. And what if I don't? I will go to great lengths to make you. Don't test me. Not today. <laughs> Your threats are meaningless. You know me. You know they're not. Just you wait. What you are capable of is nothing compared to what I've done. What I've had to do. What you will have to do. I doubt it. I'll follow the instructions, just because you asked so nicely. I'm not going to thank you. <sighs> I'd expect nothing less. Now, please, go away. Charming. Aren't I just? Yeah. 
you know, I'd sort of forgotten how miserable I could be at times. Look, I don't have the time nor patience for this, let alone me. I've had a long day going from one disaster to the next, and quite frankly, I don't need this. I'm done. Long day, hmm? One moment I'm on the planet Gaia and putting a MacGuffin together for my other selves, the next I'm punching a puppeteer to death in an adventure with two of my other annoying selves, and God knows how many more I've completely forgotten at this point. The next I'm in a Camelot-like planet, drinking with a squire, and fighting the Black Knight with another one of my annoying selves. <laughs> and the next... And next, I'm in an unimaginable, fathomless, and quite frankly, undefinable time war. My entire story rewritten. And next, I'm in a forest. And that's just the sum of the adventures I've had to endure today. Do you understand? Time war. I've been dreaming a lot about that recently. Wouldn't happen to be the same undefiable time war as the one you're talking about, hmm? It would be, yes. You were there. At least, you were somewhere. We all were. I was? Must have slipped my mind. That's been... happening a lot recently. It's... it's a long story. A long saga of unfortunate events. I was there at the very end. It's why I have a few memories intact of what was and what never can be again. Somewhat. I hope to God that they fade. Otherwise, I'll be destined to remember it all. Sir, one moment you're in this time war that I was also participating in, and the next, you're here? I, I found this blue letter stapled to the doors of my ship. I was on my way to the coordinates within when I found myself falling through the time vortex. I was trying to evade singularity at first, before suddenly finding myself in what can only be described as the last universe. It's been a long, relative 24 hours. A long Thursday. It's always Thursday. I have to wonder when I'll catch a break. No universe has ever given us a break. I doubt the last one will. Unfortunately, going from one reality ending event to the next is a distinct part of our shared job description. One that I despise. What? The job or the job description? Both. What's that? Not sure. If I had to guess, that's what's left of the Cybermen. Well then, after you. No, I insist that you go first. Hello? Hello, hello? Hello? Oh, it's you! Alright, Eeyore, how have you been? I hate you. God knows the last time we met was bad enough. <laughs> and there was me thinking I was quite likeable. What, uh... What is it you specifically don't like about me? Everything. Oh, come on. Be more specific. Ego. The blind optimism. The blatant saviour complex. You look like you have a constant sugar rush. And I have you labelled as one of the clumsy ones. Well, I wouldn't say clumsy. Energetic, maybe. They're not clumsy. Is there a difference when it comes to us? Alright, fair point. Well made. So, uh, what brings you to my doorstep? To sum it up as briefly as I can, there are instructions waiting for you. Uh, go back to your console and I'm sure you can figure it out from there. I forgot how serious I was all the time. <laughs> oh, I do remember what you were like in the club, you bad, bad boy. <laughs> I swore never to bring that up. <laughs> you may have made, but I didn't. Same thing. Oh, right, so you do see us as one and the same. Hmm. I remember being ever so against that when I was you. I do see us as one and the same, but that doesn't mean I have to like that fact. Ah, oh, just you wait till you're me. <laughs> Before this war, my day went as follows. 
told a story on the planet Bedtime, was skydiving on Marinus, anti-gravity bowling on Clom, had cocktails on Pelennon, met up with a few famous scientists and took them to the lost but recently found moon of Poosh, and then invented Disco. And now I'm here, fighting in this war. But, let's look on the bright side, eh? The bright side? I get to annoy me. <laughs> Spack off! Gladly. See you around, Doctor. See you around. Hopefully not. What was that? <laughs> oh, sorry. You caught me in a bad moment. Not that there are good ones at the present. The time war seems to have brought itself back to our attention. This war. This damned bloodshed. I just found myself in a bloodbath, unsuccessfully defending the planet Oblivion from onslaught. And now, it doesn't even exist. I just fought in a battle against the Goblin King and their legion of baby-eating goblins. Do you remember them? I remember. That's when we met Ruby, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was. I think. This war is everything scrambled. Back to the point. Now those goblins are all the size of skyscrapers. Janus managed to destroy an entire planet with their voice alone. Say what you want about this war, but it never ceases to be creative. Well, you say that, but I think the war sometimes just takes a look at some of the smaller species and says, let's make it bigger! I have noticed a pattern. But then again, Kroll was already massive, and now they're the size of a few planets. I did come across Kroll the other day. Did you happen to bump into Erato? I've heard they're married at the moment. Are they? They live in their own little bubble with their time-sensitive kin. Apparently, one of our other cells had a wedding for them, to end their eternal battle. This war can be completely ridiculous sometimes, but at least love has found a way, in some capacity. Until it's unwritten again. That's just what happens. Kroll and Arato won't exist. And neither will their love life. Sad, isn't it? A universe with no constants, no chaos, no order, no state of play, no stories to be told. Isn't it just? We just exist. And even that is in a state of flux. Even the flux is in flux. I've heard it's eating away at what was the edge of the universe. I've seen it glitch into war zones. I've seen particles being harnessed and used into weaponry. I've seen all sorts. Haven't we all? Have you got the instructions? I do indeed. I was about to follow them after, you know, B distracted me. Oh. Rather counterproductive, considering I'm here to tell you to follow them. Isn't it just? Still, message received. I'll get going, and you better do the same. Good luck. And to you. Alpha Canis 6. Out of every planet, why would I be here? You would ask that question. We always were one for questions, so I am, I suppose. Would you mind making yourself useful and pass me that quantum wrench? Say the magic word. Please. That's better. Not that one. This one? That is clearly a sonic hammer. Not one of my more useful inventions, I'll give you that. But I'll get on with this myself. You can go. How incredibly pompous. Not sure why I'm still surprised at this point. Look, we both know that you weren't going to like me from the moment you first saw me. And as for pompous, I don't really care for such an unpleasant description anyway. What brings you to Alpha Canis 6? Well, I ended up here during the war. So I had to peek at the future to see if things had cleared up, and next thing you know, every facet of reality was glitching around me. Now, I'm stranded here. And the planet is now in the middle of a time war. Just to make matters worse, you're now here. Charmed. I'm here to give you instructions. I take it you are repairing your TARDIS? Well, it would be fixed by now, but you appear to be distracting me. I'm tired of this. Take the new dematerialization circuit, and I think you'll find that your troubles will be over. Well, I'll be the judge of that. But then what? Aimlessly wander amongst a time war, no less. There's <laughs> no point in leaving at this point. Look, just follow the instructions once your TARDIS is fixed, and all shall become clear. Well, if I must, you are awfully persistent. Are you my future and my past? That's for you to find out once this is all over. Time for me to leave. 
Oh, leaving so soon, but we were just getting acquainted. Not that this conversation has been a pleasantry. No time for pleasantries. Goodbye. <laughs> what a strange man. You lot are getting harder and harder to find. Even your dress sense is subtle. Well, we are at war. A convoluted one at that. Subtle? Compared to the rest of us, you may as well be in camouflage. Either way, I could sense your ego from a mile away. Bit rude, but I'll let it pass. I remember having those feelings. Being you. Oh, the good old days. Good old days? <laughs> so you look back on me fondly then? I wasn't expecting that. Depends on the day, to be honest with you. And I imagine you're currently enduring Thursday, am I right? Relatively speaking. Does that mean you remember it all then? Does it mean I do? I can't remember much. I don't think you remember this encounter. You see, the war injected itself into my timeline beyond the point of us eventually meeting. And what's that supposed to mean? It means that if this war ends, if this is unwritten and the natural order goes back to normal, we are going to meet and you don't remember this particular encounter, nor your eventual encounter with many of your future selves. Ah, so, let me get this right. So, the war injects itself into my part of the timeline before we have a chance to meet under, say, normal circumstances. I can't say whether you remember anything else today. I still have vivid dreams of the planet Gaia from multiple perspectives, or gateway even. But to me, under normal circumstances, they're just dreams. These are far, far from normal circumstances. You're far, far from wrong. Switch to get around my era. Another universe, more wars, friends, enemies, old and new. Arcadians? Sersha. Too much for now. Anyway. My worst nightmare. More wars? Isn't this one enough? I'd say so, but reality often has other ideas. What brings you to this battlefield? Why are you searching for me? Long story, Cosmic NDAs and all that. Don't know if you really know the architect and don't really care, but once you make it back to your TARDIS, if you make it back to your TARDIS, follow the instructions that have been left for you. Can do. Anything else? Nothing in particular. We'll meet again, Doctor. I hope we don't, Doctor. Oh, don't I know it, Doctor. Such a familiar face. Never thought I'd see it again. I pray that I never see yours again. I'll keep this brief. Knowing me? No, you won't. Enough banter. If you truly know me, you know that I don't do that. I've seen you recently. Lurking around, pinpointing the best point to interrupt me. You were there during the battle on Adipose 3. Before the planet was destroyed. I couldn't save it. In fact, I accidentally made things worse. I'm not proud of my actions. This is why I don't want to be like you. You only make things worse. Drop the act. Really. Drop it and talk to me properly. What don't you like about the Doctor? I don't have the time for me. Yes, you do. Time doesn't factor into anything anymore. Then how come my patience is wearing thin? I am thousands and thousands of years ahead of you. Your patience may be wearing thin now, but mine, at this point, I have the patience of a saint. Is that how you see yourself? A saint? God, no. Now drop the act. Thousands of years. Why do you carry on? Why don't you just- I found a new lease of life in a manner of speaking. This isn't the first time I've worn this face. I've had this face many times. Many times? Each death makes me appreciate life just that bit more. Is death the answer? The answer? No. The question, maybe. You speak in riddles. If I'm honest, it depends on where you want to go. This wasn't what I was expecting. You were certainly one of the more enlightened of us. I try my best. I really can't stay for long. But if you want me to open up, I'm willing to do so. Just this once. I don't want to hold you for too long, just take all the time you need. I ran away earlier from an important... A 
disappointment. I've lost so many people. So much. And I don't know who I am. Or what I want to be. The doctor who I want to be. Trust me. Keep going. You'll find your way. You think? I know. I wish I could open up more. This is all very new to me. You'll find someone to open up to. I'm not the only doctor out there. But perhaps you should seek professional unbiased advice. You know me too well. I've spent a long time reflecting on my time as you. Thought a lot about what I would say to my younger self. What does it feel like? Having that chance? Not bad. I'll follow your instructions. I know that's why you're here. But only if you answer my question. Question? Forgotten already? What don't you like about the Doctor? That's a long story. It all started in a junkyard. 1960s. Soul free. But... But perhaps a story for when we meet again. You're so confident that we will. It's been one hell of a day. I'm certain that we will. I'll follow your instructions. And Doctor... What now? Glad to know that my past is in safe hands. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh... Um... What are you doing? Well, let's just say, I'm the sort who solves practical problems. The practical problem at the present is this. Loads of Daleks rather wasn't expecting them here. No. This is one of the last planets, isn't it? We're at the end of the universe. We are, yes. Oh, now I remember. This is the Time War. Or it's Thursday. One or the other. Both. But I don't understand. You got my message. Most assuredly, and I'll come and help as soon as I'm able. But you're entrenched. There's auto turrets and force fields, and... Is that a BFG? Of course it is. I'm rather proud of that one. Capable of shooting a hole into the surface of Mars. Not that there's many reasons to shoot a hole into the surface of Mars, or even a Mars to shoot a hole into right now. But one can never be too well equipped when defending a single planet from the Daleks. But... Why are you still here? And not preparing to... Not now, Friday. Everything's alright, but there's still a few of them out there. Dad? Ah. What's the old word? Spoilers. I suppose it would be. You need to help. If I leave this planet, Friday dies. I won't do that. Not even to deal with the Daleks. But if you don't help- If I don't help, I'll be one of thousands of our line. I'm hundreds of thousands of years and bodies in. But we need you. So does Friday. Pick your battles, old man. Not better yet, pick your warriors. Things will turn out well enough. And if the Daleks win? What if this planet just gets up and erased one day? It's catching up. Even here. Friday. Friday never existed. Time's been rewritten. Unwritten. Even a TARDIS can protect them. Yes, thank you. I had figured that part out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's just... I just... Came barging into my world and demanded my help without thinking of the consequences. For someone who hates being the Doctor, you certainly still act in our worst manner sometimes. No, no, sorry, sorry. This wasn't you. No, it wasn't. But I can see why you're angry. Yes, quite. We win this, everything goes back. Or all of us get erased as potential futures that never happened. Either or. That's certainly motivating. I suppose it would be. So? So, here I go to save the day. And here's hoping to save Friday as well. The garden? How? You aren't dead. I know you're thinking it. Who are you? Who do you think I am? Ah. Me. Yes. You. Are you going to lie on the floor all day? Your coat is getting all muddy. Why are you here? Why am I here? 
I look after this place, like a caretaker. My love of gardening started when I was a beekeeper in Wales during the 1950s. Oh, what a wonderful time. And a lovely retro caravan park nearby. I knew it. Knew he was one of me. I was still eating away at the 1928 hibiscus blossom. Those bees were some of our most faithful companions in the end. So, back on topic. You can just come here. Who do you think guaranteed you access? Oh, look at you. You're exhausted. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Any other precious insights you want to give me? Any other witchery maps? I remember them all. I'll have to think of some new ones then. When you get to my age, you'll find that there are no possible new ones. Besides, I've spoken to you many times in this garden and you've already used them. Or at least you will. You've spoken with me? After I die? Thank you, Captain Obvious. You can't just bring up all of this and not answer this question. And I've had a really rough day, so you better answer. Do I find peace? Just tell me. I need to know. You don't want to know. And why not? Because knowing would make your entire journey, your entire life, with the face you are currently wearing, redundant. Knowing isn't everything. It is this time. So, no peeking at the end then? I'm afraid not. We leave our stories behind. That's our legacy. This is me giving you the chance to write yours. You're quite ahead of me, aren't you? Understatement of the century. You can't comprehend how far ahead I am. No, seriously, you can't. You're so young, look at you. I was so young. Doesn't feel like it. I feel like I'm in my twilight years. Nothing wrong with that. But you're not. At least, that's dependent on this war. The war. Hang on. You're so far ahead, you must know how all this ends. Surely. Not at all. Not how this works whatsoever. It infected my timeline at a specific point. Just like it did with the rest of us. And so you came here. The garden. Wilted roses. The decaying lilies. I'm so sorry. Don't apologise. It's hardly our fault. I'm rather fond of roses. Such complex flowers. As are all flowers, I'm rather fond of poppies myself. Such beauty, such magnificence. And now nothing but weeds and nettles remain. But if you take a closer look through all of the chaos and unorganised nature of it all, there. The rose, on its own. <laughs> the one holding this garden together. Good. I was starting to think that you're a bad caretaker. Hmm, perhaps not. Such sights are rare within this saga of unfortunate events, which is why it is best that I send you on your way. You're not wrong. Thank you. Take care of yourself. You've got such trials ahead of you. You don't have it easy. I know. No, you don't. But there's no fun in knowing everything, no point to life. I may just be the wisest man in the universe, but not even I know everything. Was that really the Doctor? Really me? He seemed such a nice old man. I was wondering when you were going to show up. You're expecting me. That's new. 
News travels fast in these parts. Does it now? It does indeed. Lack of entertainment meant we had to talk with one another. A small network of doctors. My worst nightmare. Could be worse. I've only met a few of us. I've met thousands. Okay, that is worse. Hmm. The purple one was concerned for you. Should I be? Probably. That's not a reassuring answer. Do you need to talk? Probably. But once this is all over, you can pay for my therapy bill if you want. Therapy? I had a free appointment this morning. After a particularly rough adventure. A rough adventure? Long story. How was therapy? I ran. So very far away. You didn't go in, did you? No. No, I didn't. I don't know everything you've been through. I think I'm a splinter timeline from yours. Or a sister timeline? I, I don't think it matters. Not anymore. Not now. You're right. It doesn't. What does matter is that no matter what you've been through, you go back and get the help you're crying out for. Just follow the instructions. Just as long as you follow mine. I'll take your instructions into consideration. And I'll take your instructions into consideration. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? I'll be on my way. <laughs>